and fellow Nebraskans, we are gathered here to pay homage to Blunder City's most famous son. A man who absorbed science and appropriated its marvels for the benefit of humankind. I have known Wilbur Shucks since he was a spraddling. Willie, if I may use the familiar, was a biddable boy, bright as a new penny. Commencing his career right here in Blunder City, he unfortunately was dealing with a callous public. I was the only man in town in a position to encourage young Willie's enterprise to recognize the potential of this sensitive lad. And it was to me that he brought the first crowning achievement of his mechanical genius. A fact from which I did not, I must confess, derive much comfort. Faster, boy. But whether the glowing promise of this boy would be implemented in deeds of greatness, I never for a moment doubted. As the years passed, our genial youth gained the stature of manhood, and he oft-times knew the lashings of cold and hunger. But the empty stomach is a most euphoric climb for genius. There happened in his mind one of those instantaneous collocations which advanced the frontiers of science. An idea began to burgeon. He assembled his materials. He deduced his hypothesis. He squared his cube and with scientific attachment observed the results. And a new Willy Shucks emerged, fit for the rough and tumble of life now began a series of experiments to harness his vast, untapped source of energy. It wasn't easy, but undaunted, he tried again. success, and remembering his old friend and benefactor, he called me to view his masterpiece. Now, I'm a busy man and a reasonably cheerful one, always eager to help a young man of my own kidney. And so dispassionately, I weighed Willie Shucks, and I did not find him wanting. He showed me his life's work. And I knew that my faith in him had not been misplaced. coordinated complexity of mechanical know-how. It stirred me like a bugle. At the altar of science, I was humble. Master! As I applauded his sturdy common sense, my throat tightened by a stricture of emotion. became the first man in history 
could taste that most delightful of delicacies, popcorn. Thus, we honor the memory of Wilbur Chuck.